that you love me even if it's fake cause I what is up you guys i politely here today and i'm coming to you with another story time today i'm gonna be talking about my crazy neighbor and i actually have all my windows open right now just in case he wants you know maybe he can hear me i don't know and uh because i want you know he's, he's kind of he's a bit he's a bitch man he's kind of a bitch he's a pussy you guys know i hate pussies but this dude he's a straight bitch man honestly dude because Okay, here. Let, let's start from the beginning, all right? Let's start from the beginning. So, um, we were pretty mutual, you know, when when we first moved here. I've been living here for, like, uh, I'd say, like, two, two, three years now. And we were pretty mutual, you know. He would actually, he would actually kind of seem friendly, you know. Like, he would say, like, you know, hi to my mom or, or my dad, you know. Um, not really my dad, but uh, he'd, just, he'd just be nice, you know. Or, I mean, friendly-ish. But... That's when he had, like, this, like, shitty car, which he still has, you know? He still has it, but I think he just gave it to his wife, you know? Because, I mean, fuck his wife, right? So he just gave her, like, the shitty car, and then he bought himself a new car, man. And this was, like, probably, like, a year ago when he got it. And after that, man, after he got this car, dude, this dude went fucking crazy. I kid you not. This dude started, like... Like, he would say to his car. He actually still does this. Um, I haven't seen him do it that often now. But, man, I, like, he used to do this really often. Where he would just sit in his car. He would just sit in it and not do anything. He wouldn't, like, I don't even think he's playing music. I think he just sat in it. Like, what? Bro, are you feeling okay? Who just sits in their car? Like, in the heat, too, you know? But whatever, you know? If you like to sit in your car, and then that's how you want to pass your time, you know what? go for it but yeah um so he got his new car and it wasn't like anything crazy it was just like a new it was like a chrysler so it wasn't like anything crazy at all like he didn't just buy like a gtr you know what i mean but <laughs> yeah so and like he's after that man he started getting really really protective like and i get it you know i get it you just bought a new car you don't want anyone damaging it right but the thing is no one was damaging it like this dude's so paranoid I don't know what tr what happened, you know, but something made this guy super paranoid to think that me or my younger brothers or just someone in my family, you know, whether it be a mom or a dad. Um, Cause I have two younger brothers, one's 14 and one's eight. Eight, dude, an eight-year-old. This dude's blaming an eight-year-old. Oh my, I can't even like, again, th this is all, by the way, it's not, it's not scripted. You know, I should have probably scripted, but I, I like to just let my, you know, my my brain do the talking. I just go, just go with the flow, and I just spit, you know. So, what was I? Oh yeah. So my brothers, you know, one's fourteen, the other guys, the other one's eight, you know, and they're not troublemakers at all. My eight-year-old brother did. You know what he likes to do? He likes to hop on my PlayStation and play Minecraft all day. That's literally all he does, and or watch YouTube videos on my mom's phone or my brother's phone or my dad's phone. And my other brother, he's also, like, nerdy, you know? He just sits in his room and just plays uh, his Xbox One all day. He doesn't even go outside. He, I mean, let's just say this, right? When I'm out with my friends, this kid, like, goes because he has no friends, pretty much. Okay, no, he has friends, but he doesn't go out. Like, he doesn't talk to his friends outside of school. And so there you go. Uh, those are the type of the people my brothers are, you know? The 8-year-old, obviously, is not just going to go outside. I mean, he'll go out and play, you know, with, like... He hangs out with, like, this one girl. She's also, like, eight. But, I mean, they, like, go, like, far. You know, they're, like, nowhere near here, so. But that's besides the point. Well, I, I guess it's not. It is useful. Useful information. So, this dude, man, one time. All right, well, here's what he does, though. All right? So, my family and I will go out, whatever. And we'll, like, we'll, like, leave. And then when we come back, he's... At his window. This kid, this guy is literally at his fucking window. Looking outside at us. Like, he's legit staring at us right now. Every time. Like, yeah, he still does it. Not as often. And he kind of does it more sneakily now. Because, you know, he's he knows now that we're not going to take a shit. You know, that being my dad and I. And my mom, you know. Okay, my mom, she's like 5'4", you know, Asian. And, like, she's 5'4", Asian, Mexican. But she's not going to take shit from anybody. Man. My mom is fierce, dude. Anyone with a, with an Asian mom or a Mexican mom knows that they are fierce, all right? So, <laughs> yeah, mom does not give a fuck, all right? So, well, what this guy would do, he'd be at his window, and he'd just start yelling at us from his window. 
like this kind of, like when we're just getting out of our car whether we went to church or we went to go get groceries or wherever we went you know he would start yelling at us from his window like a fucking maniac dude and like we'd let it slide you know like yo this is fucking crazy you know and there were a couple times where my dad would be be like hey let's go knock on his door and like you know see what's up not to fight you know because again we're not violent people you know we're not savages we're just what we actually wanted to like see what's up you know like we're gonna ask him like hey yo the fuck's your problem you know you're not just gonna yell at us and my little brothers especially it was the fact that me and my dad got so protective it was because we started to fear for the safety of my younger brothers and my mom you know because we're not gonna let like anyone just harass us so this dude constantly would just start yelling at us you know and it got to the point where we're just like because at first we're just like oh let's just ignore it you know to try and get over it maybe he'll just he'll just go away you know if we start ignoring him let him have his uh little fucking panic attacks or whatever but it wasn't working he would still do it and there was it, it got to the point the breaking point was when he knocked on our door and it was just me my mom and my two younger brothers were were home my dad was at work and my mom wasn't at school at the, uh she wasn't enrolled in school at the time so we go well we're not we don't go anywhere we're just chilling here i'm playing my playstation um or whatever i'm doing and then my mom was like doing laundry i think and my brothers were also playing their game and this dude comes and knocks on our door all right so i get up and uh actually no i don't get up i don't open the door. my mom does my mom gets up and whatever she was doing she opens the door she sees it's him so she calls me over she's like hey sam you know come over here and then i go and i see you know i'm like oh it's this fucking faggot so Nothing against gay people, you know. I say faggot not as in like a der- derogatory term towards like any gays. I just say it. I don't know, but maybe I should stop saying it. But <laughs> whatever. Um, it's just one of my PC. So yeah, this dude opens. Oh, he doesn't open. I open the door. He's right there, and I'm like, I'm I'm friendly. I'm like, I'm like, can I help you? You know, like in a nice voice. I wasn't like, yo, you know, fuck you doing here. I was like, can I help you? And he was like, oh, um. He, this dude was like raging like his eyes were, okay have you guys seen like a crackhead a crackhead when they bulge their eyes this is what this dude looked like he looked like his, his he was about to fucking like take out a, like a pistol or something and like start fucking shooting but luckily he didn't you know i wouldn't be here obviously but so this dude like he's like did you guys you threw a rock at my car and i'm just like uh what you know we did go out last night and we got home like pretty late it was like around like 11 30 to 12 because we were like at a party and but i guarantee you guys we didn't throw shit at this dude's car like why would we do that you know we're tired as fuck we just want to go home and sleep so um this dude's like you guys threw a rock at my car and he and then this dude started getting all technical like pretending to be oh my god it was actually funny like my mom and i were actually fucking dying after he said this like and he left he was like because he said that we threw a rock from this angle that it could only be us you know like this angle and like it was like at a 90 degree angle in the trajectory and the way the scratch went like what this dude is fucking insane right like what so my mom and I were like, okay, you know, this is crazy. And, but we're like, hey, but I, that's when I started getting offended. I'm like, hey, we didn't throw rocks at your car. We're like, hey, we didn't, we didn't even like go near your car because we know you're crazy. Like I straight up said that, you know, I'm like, we know you're crazy and you start yelling at us for no reason. So I'm like, so you better just leave. And I guess he, he was like, he was like, oh, next, he's like, I will leave. But next time I come, I'm going to come with the police. And I'm, I'm like, come with them, bitch. You know, because I was like, like, again, you guys know I'm not a pussy. You know, I'm not like a tough guy. You know, I'm not going to go out and look for trouble. But I'm also not going to let anyone disrespect me or my family, especially my mom. You know, so I was like, oh, no, I was like, come back with them, bitch. And then my mom, she like pulled me away because I mean, dude, me and this dude better start scrapping. So he's like some fat fuck. So whatever. Um. He's a little taller than me, but again, he's fat. And this dude, he's like raging. Like he's fucking furious, dude. And I kind of found like, you know, it was pretty funny, you know, to me how mad this guy was at nothing because we didn't do shit. And he leaves, you know, and I'm like, I hope he comes with the police, man, because 
I really like my mom and I. The reason we never call the cops, man, is again we're Asian Mexican man. We do not call the cops, all right? We deal with our problems. We don't snitch, all right? We deal with it our- ourselves. Ain't no calling the cops around here. And even though it's a really nice neighborhood, and but you know, just me, my culture, don't call the cops unless it's something like, you know, I don't even know what why we would call the cops, but whatever. Unless someone like, got kidnapped or some shit. But, you know, huh, hope to God doesn't happen, you know, to anyone. But, yeah, so that that happened, you know. And after that, it's like, that's when we were just like, you know, it was like kind of like World War Two, man. World War One, I, I guess. Because, I mean, it was just me or just him or my dad, you know. It was just us, you know. We would not get my mom involved anymore. Because, and my mom legit just shut the door, by the way. Like, right before that. Like, she just shut the door on his face and she was like... And she was like, ooh, I'm so scared. Like, because like I said, my mom is fierce. So she doesn't care. And she's like, ooh, I'm so scared to him. And then she just shut the door and like pushed me back before I fucking went off on this dude. And <laughs> so after that happens, he never called the cops. You know, you know why? Because he knew it wasn't us. You know, he was just looking for someone to blame. But I mean, you guys know a car can get scratched from anything. Dude, my Beamer, it, it gets scratched from fucking rocks, you know, like that just get kicked up when I'm driving. So like. And I'm not tripping about it because, again, it's a car. It's bound to get scratched, whether it be this tiniest little scratch or big. Like, if it was a big scratch, you know, then I could see, it, you know, how he, he could be like, oh, someone did this. But if, if it was, I'd like, honestly, guys, I can't even see the fucking scratch. So, and that's another thing he said, actually, I forgot to mention. He was like, I know my car from every single speck, inch, dust. He's like, I know every single thing about the car. I'm like, all right, dude, I get it. You fucking jerk off to your car, you know, but... Obviously, I didn't say that, but in my head, I was thinking, I was like, yo, this dude jerks off to his car. Like, this is fucking weird. So, uh, <laughs> that happens, you know. He leaves. He never calls the cops, you know. And my mom at this point was like, yo, you know, we got to do something about it. And, I'm, and I was like, you're right. Um, and the next time, my uh, I would actually have my friend kind of annoy him because at this time, I was still in high school. And my friend would drive me from school. He wouldn't drive me to school, but he drive me from school because I wasn't driving yet. And then, um, what was it? Oh yeah, so I'd have my friend rev his engine, you know, because um, he had like no muffler or whatever, so uh, his car was loud. And I would have him just rev, 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 just you know to piss my neighbor off, just because I knew it would piss him off. And one time, actually, I was getting home, uh, but it was like late at night. Uh, it was just me. I went out with some friends or whatever. Uh, it wasn't that late, it was maybe like around 8, and it was just getting dark, but it was still daylight out, and he like started yelling at me from his one, I was like, who the fuck does this dude think he is, you know, so I just flip him off, you know, like, fuck you dude, like, who the fuck are you to yell at me, you know, only my parents can do that shit, so I just flip him off, you know, to show him that I don't care about what he's saying, and... Uh, he's like, oh, you motherfucker, bro, like, he's, he's like, I swear, this is about to have, have a heart attack, man, this is legit about to have a heart attack, as how angry he's getting, now, I know this video is getting really long, but, I mean, I just want to tell the whole story, props to you if you're still watching, hey, if you're still watching, leave a comment saying, Sam, I like him, there you go, that's how I know you're still watching the story, listen to the story, and then, um, so after that, uh, my dad, he, like, because we told him what happened, how he came to our door and, like, started threatening us and shit. So, my dad, he was coming home from work. And the dude was, like, getting, like, out of his car. And this dude, this is why I say he's such a fucking bitch, dude. He was getting out of his car. And my dad, you know, he's about the same size as this dude. So, but, like, not fat. And so, my dad's walking, you know. And he... The dude's getting in his car, and my dad's like, hey, you know, he's like, come out and talk. And the dude hops in his car and just locks the door. He legit just locks the door, and he sits in his car, and he's telling my dad, like, with his hand, he's, like, motioning for him to, like, go, you know, go home. And he was, and my, from his car, he's yelling, fuck you, to my dad. And my dad's like, fuck you, you know? And my, but my dad's like, he wants to fucking score up. My dad's ready to beat this dude's ass. And he wouldn't get out of his car. He's such a fucking bitch. He just, that's what I'm saying. He just talks shit from his window or something from his car. And after that day, guys, he hasn't said shit. He has not said shit. After I flipped him off. And there was another time where I legit went and knocked on his door by myself. Um, I went, I knocked on his door. Guess what? 
he didn't open the door, even though he was home, because he's a fucking bitch, and he's a pussy, that's why, he did not open the door, I knocked like three times, I knew he was in there, both his cars were there, and I saw him out the window, because he was yelling at us, so that's why I went up, and he still didn't knock, dude, oh my god, that shit was fucking funny, you know, after that, my dad and I just joke around, we're like, hey, this dude's a bitch, you know, he's not, he's not gonna do anything, but he did threaten my... 14 year old brother he was like it's coming motherfucker that's legit what he said but after that i mean he hasn't and that was like months ago he hasn't done shit he hasn't said shit you know luckily i think we we made him learn you know that that he's a that he, you know we don't take people shit and he's a pussy i mean he obviously didn't want to fight he doesn't want to deal with anything because again we're innocent you know no one got near his fucking car no one has ever gotten near his car but i mean you know what guys Memos, uh, well, no, no, not memo. Hmm. The point of the story was, uh, to entertain you. And also, what was it? There's something, oh, yeah. There's people in your life that you're going to deal with that are crazy, you know. And you're just going to have to deal with them. But don't, like, don't take people's shit, man. Do not take people's shit because they're not above you. You know, unless it's your parents, don't, don't let people talk shit on you. Especially bad shit, man. Or, like, don't let people threaten you. You know, without you doing something about it. Like it said, it doesn't necessarily have to get physical. You know, we never got physical. But we made sure to let them know that if it got physical, we'd have no problem with it, you know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And remember, guys, stay polite. Fuck my neighbor. I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah, I can only